story I chose for my SSR reading project was a Swallow Me Whole by Nate Powell. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about Nate Powell. Nate Powell was born in 1978 in Little Rock, Arkansas. He graduated from North Little Rock High School in 1996 and went to the SBA, which is the School of Visual Arts in New York City, where he majored in cartooning. He graduated in 2000 after receiving the Outstanding Cartooning Award and the Shakespeare and Company Book Self-Publishing Grant where he funded one of his first comics named Walkie Talkie. His notable works are Any Empire, Swallow Me Whole, and The Silence of Our Friends. And, as you can see, I chose Swallow Me Whole. One of the things that struck, struck out at me when I read this book was the unique sense of writing and artistry. Uh, I, personally like I personally like graphic novels and such, as they always come up with funny and witty jokes that, uh, that go with them. And most of the time the artwork is really amazing. And as you can see, this is some strange yet unique drawings. I really wish I could draw. The story of Swallow Me Whole is about a cousin, is about a pair of cousins who both see delusions. The girl cousin, Ruth, imagines bugs are talking to her. She can also talk back to them. She herself embraces the fact that she is not completely sane, at least more so than her cousin Peter, who, in my opinion, is not completely insane. The only thing he sees, the only thing he sees in here is a talking wizard who is not named. And I will show you the wizard. That is Peter Lewis. They both live with their critically ill grandma and grandpa. If I had to put, alright, let me show you grandma and grandpa first. There is Grandma, and that's Ruth and Peter. If I had to put an age recommendation on this book, I would say it'd be twenty four. I would say it would be for twenty and up, as an extremely psychological book. And only if you really think deep about this whole story can you truly grasp the nature of it. The message I believe the author was trying to say to you that you should face the truth of reality and swallow your fears. Throughout the whole story, Ruth understands that she is different and that what she sees isn't normal, while Peter, on the other hand, tries to deny it and takes pills to get away from it. All in all, I see this book as a good read if you're looking for a story that will make you think. Goodbye.